Good morning. I'm reading from the book of 1 Samuel this morning. And the children of Israel came to a place after they lost the Ark of the Covenant, and then it was returned by the Philistines, where they realized that they had sinned against the Lord. And Samuel called them all to a place called Mizpah. And there he encouraged them to return to the Lord. And so the children of Israel came and they put away their false gods and their false idols. And they confessed their sins to the Lord. They offered sacrifice that day. They fasted that day. They asked Samuel to pray for them and, and he did. And as they were having this time of repentance and, and really a, a time of revival for the people, it was at that moment that the Philistines decided to invade. And as they were coming, uh, the Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 10, And as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomfited them. And they were smitten before Israel. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah and pursued the Philistines, and they smote them until they came under beth -car. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shen, and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. Fantastic passage of Scripture, and such a great reminder for you and I. We need to remember the victories that the Lord has given to us. You know, on that day, it says that the Lord thundered on the Philistines. They saw God's mighty power uh, at work against their enemies, and he brought about a great deliverance. Uh, the Israelites were not arrayed in battle. They were not prepared for battle that day. They were caught by surprise, and yet the Lord thundered on the Philistines, and they pursued the Philistines, and it says they discomfited them. That, that means they whipped them. An army that was prepared for a surprise attack was whipped by the people who were caught off guard. And so Samuel takes this great stone, and he sets it up there, and he names it <clears throat> Ebenezer, which means a stone of help or a stone of deliverance. I want to encourage you to do that in your life, to set up markers within your life. For some people, they take a notebook and you know they just, they just journal and they write down the things that God has done for them, the answers to prayer that they've received, the, 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 the times that, that God has showed them something from the Word of God or has given them wisdom and insight in certain situations or brought incredible comfort to their life, or healed somebody that they had prayed for, all of the many, many victories that God gives us. And then whenever things get tough, Sometimes you could go back, and as Israel would travel back through the land, they could go by Ebenezer, and they would look over there, and they'd see, see that stone, and they'd say, Yep, hitherto has the Lord helped us. You know, up until this point in time, God has never let us down. And there's an Ebenezer that Paul raises in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 8. He said, For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure above strength in so much that we despaired even of life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raiseth the dead. And then he says this, Who delivered us from so great a death, and doth deliver, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. And that's the point of the Ebenezer. The point of the Ebenezer is, is a reminder a stone of help so that you look at that and you say, yep, right here on this spot, God brought a great deliverance to us. And if God has helped us up to this point, we have absolutely no reason to believe that he's not going to continue to help us as we move into the future. God is faithful. The Lord Jesus Christ is with us. He's promised to never leave us. He's promised to never forsake us. And he said that through faith in Him, we can overcome. And so I want to encourage you today. Sometimes an Ebenezer is a really important and encouraging thing in our lives. Sometimes we need to be able to look back at past deliverances and past answers to prayer and to encourage our hearts to face what's going on right now. I hope you have a great day. God bless.